Pico Union District is actually one of the poorest neighborhoods in all of Los Angeles. When they find themselves pregnant, it tends to be bad news, especially when they go to their doctor and they tell them they have a positive pregnancy test. They usually ask them, well, what are you going to do? Do you want to have an abortion? Abortion is something that's pushed upon the people of this neighborhood very much. This is her smart choice. Mm -hmm, her smart choice. And it's basically um, abortion um, into the second trimester. Okay, we're standing here. Um, in what we call the ground zero of abortion of the Pico Union District. Um, probably the, one of the worst neighborhoods in the country. In this intersection, there are four abortion businesses within 100 yards of each other. And so these are businesses that hand out coupons, flyers for their um, services, and aggressively target women. I'm holding in my hands an abortion coupon that is distributed by Alliance Medical Group, which is one of these four clinics. There are women that have been hurt, have lost their life um, because of these um, medical, these well, these abortion businesses. Um, a lot of these women, um, many of them are um, women that don't, don't know their rights, and so they 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 don't fight back and so a lot of women um, have been maimed hurt by abortion are suffering and they have no idea there's somebody that wants to help them or advocate for them we are a pregnancy center we're in the process of going medical we're not medical we don't have an ultrasound but just with our counseling services and the material support we provide, last month we were able to save 18 babies from abortion. And more than half of those babies were directly through the Vitae Caring Foundation ad. So we are so blessed and grateful to them for what they're doing. I know they're doing it in other areas, not only in LA, but here it has been the answer to our prayers. Caring Foundation came to our neighborhood. They identified this neighborhood as one of the abortion, you know, capitals of the country and asked us, asked the right questions. They asked us, what are people reading? You know, where are they, where, where, where do they go? And so we found out that one of the best ways to advertise is in the, in the, the Spanish language uh, circulars that women get for free in the markets. So we began uh, a campaign with a wonderful ad in the Spanish circulars that women read when they're having their breakfast and they're free. So we began getting so many calls of women that are pregnant and asking about abortion. It's been the most successful way that we've been able to find women. So it's been some, uh, it's been a huge blessing for this community, for the work that God has called us to do. And so Vita Caring has been one of the most incredible partners. Um, and we are so blessed to um, collaborate with them in this neighborhood. And so many babies are being saved. There's two, two abortion clinics in this building. A girl passed away downstairs on the third floor, Dr. Emily. And then we have Planned Parenthood on the sixth floor. There's a sign that says, babies are stinky, babies smell. Over 100 abortions were done in this building, two Saturdays ago. What we provide here, by the way, we have a full 
um, licensed prenatal clinic. We help the girls with medical coverage, PCAP, the WIC program, jobs, uh, pregnancy, uh, breastfeeding classes, uh, pediatrics when the baby's born. We deliver at one of the richest hospitals, the best hospital in Brooklyn, Methodist. Is, we have one of the best pro-life doctors. Um, and the girls see all the things that are working in favor for them, they start to relax. The mission here is to bring the light of all the help that is available to these girls, to make it within arm's length, to make them really know that people do care for them, people do want to help them, because we have the technology now and the tools to go underground into the subways and in the buses. We never had that before because the abortion clinics have all, they hand out condoms. They really, really hand out all kinds of things to these girls. They really don't care for them the way we do. With the uh, subway ads now and with the bus ads, we have an influx. I've seen almost 200 clients already and it's only February. I just think that if we all band together, everyone, and try to stick together to help these young girls, whether it be by volunteering at a, a crisis sidewalk counseling, whether it even a couple of dollars to donate, we have to stick together because these girls need our help. reaches them first. If the abortion clinic reaches them, they'll convince them that abortion is the solution. If we reach them, they'll have a message of hope, of love for their, for their children, for their future. And the women that have come to our center through We Take Caring Foundation's ad, many of them do choose life and many of them say, I didn't know this help existed. Both of our organizations are dedicated, both nationally and locally here, to help Christian communities start pregnancy help clinics. My job over the last couple of years has been to identify the neediest places in our country that need a pregnancy help medical clinic established. And that has brought us to this neighborhood of the inner city of Los Angeles on Wilshire Boulevard. What's so stunning about this place is that there are four abortion businesses within a hundred feet of each other here. And uh, this one I'm standing in front of us is an outlet store uh, for Planned Parenthood. You go in, you sign up for Medicaid or Medi-Cal, and they take you over to Planned Parenthood for your abortion. What's amazing about this is that it's called St. Jude's Family Planning. That's bad enough, but when you recognize it directly across the street, there's another building, a 10-story building, and it has an abortion clinic on the 6th floor and another one on the ninth floor. And right next door to this building, there's a building with these yellow awnings on it. And there's an abortion clinic on the 3rd floor here. So here are four abortion-related businesses all plaguing this largely Hispanic or Latino community. These are some of the photographs of children that almost never were. Their mothers came here for abortions, um, seeking abortion, and by coming to this place, which is an oasis of help and hope, we have counseled these girls and given them different alternatives to help them develop a plan for their life, their babies. And as you can see in the photographs, how happy they are. Vita Caring is very well known in the pro-life community uh, and locally I've known of their work with LAPS and I know that they've saved many babies in this area uh, because they're able to get people into the clinics. They ask us literally, you do abortion for free. They, they say, I don't have money, I need to get an abortion but I don't have money and I saw your ad in the classified and the classificado and I want to see if you can help me. I can't have this baby, I lost my job, my husband is not working, or even my, my boyfriend doesn't want the baby. I don't have, I'm not ready to have a baby, I don't want the baby. And I don't have the money to pay for the abortion, so I just want to see if you can help me. And, and they mentioned the classificado and you know, we, we take them in and we talk with them. Continue to support the work of Vitae Caring Foundation. Please keep us in your prayers. We're trying to offer 
the life-saving power of the ultrasound here in this neighborhood, just with counseling alone, we'll be, we've been able to help almost 800 babies to live. With the ultrasound and the Vitae Caring uh, Foundation campaign, we could probably save four times as many babies as we're saving now. God willing, 400 babies instead of 100 every year can be saved through this campaign and through the ultrasound.